to my channel and welcome to all that are new to my channel today you guys i will be drawing in my island babe sketchbook which is right here and we are going to be drawing y2k dolls yes you guys we are going to be throwing it back and drawing some of our fave dolls from the 2000s okay we've got brats we've got my scene and we've got barbie but you know she was she was there a long time ago though <laughs> but yeah you guys i was like oh my goodness i haven't sketched literally in so long like it's been a minute since i've actually sketched on paper so i'm a little bit rough coming back into this but i was like you know what i want to do something a little different i want to sketch some of my favorite childhood dolls and i knew you guys would you know like this too because this is like something that you can relate to because these are the dolls that we played with when we were younger and now we see all of these new dolls that they have you know like the omg dolls and stuff like that which i think are pretty cool but I'm never gonna forget our Y2K dolls, okay? That set the standard, okay? Like, yes, my favorite dolls were definitely My Scene and Bratz. I love My Scene and Bratz. Like, oh my gosh, those dolls were the ish. I love watching like the little mini series, playing the video games, going to the websites. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, like I cannot believe that I got rid of all of my Bratz dolls. Like, I'm so sad till this day that I made that decision to get rid of them. Like, oh my gosh, I really wish that I kept them because they were just, uh, like my My Scene and my Bratz dolls. I really wish I still had them. So as an homage <laughs> to them, is that how you say homage? to them I'm just going to draw them today and I'm also gonna draw Barbie because you know I still love my Barbie dolls okay first I started out with Barbie dolls then it went to Bratz then it went to my scene but I loved all those dolls like oh my goodness and Polly Pocket too like yo Polly Pocket was the ish yes you guys but um, the first doll that I'm drawing is actually a Mycene doll. And her name is Noli, you guys. So this is Noli that I'm drawing and this is the picture that I'm drawing from. So it was actually a little bit of a challenge, you know, drawing the dolls because you know, the dolls are kind of stiff, a little bit lifeless. So it was definitely a challenge, like putting them in my style and trying to like give them that life and really just put them into my style. But it was so much fun, I really enjoyed it. And also you guys, I started to notice that my Noli doll in my style she really started to give me lisa from blackpink vibes like comment down below if she gives you those vibes too um as i was drawing i was just like wow she really is giving me lisa from blackpink vibes like i feel like this is something that she would wear you know this is like her look so yeah i you know might do a video where i draw blackpink or bts i'm not even a k-pop fan like that like i do love k-pop but i've never been like an ultra k-pop fan but you know i would do it for you guys if you want, want me to so yeah you guys that's um my little input for that and also, you guys, you see, I put a D on her necklace. So I thought her name was Delancey because on Pinterest, under the picture that I was drawing from, it said that that was her name. But then I realized, no, this girl is Noli. Like, no way. It's her name Delancey. So that was a little mistake on my part. We're just going to keep that in between me and you, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to say that's D for Diva, okay? <laughs> that's a quick little save right there. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys, I really enjoyed um, drawing Noli, so I'm going to continue drawing her and I'll be back when we start with Sasha also you guys forgive me for the dog hair on my sleeve I have a dog y'all so you know how it be okay oh also I forgot to mention I changed the Adidas symbol on her hat from Adidas to raw because you know I just had to you know add that little raw sushi feature in okay okay but next you guys we are drawing our girl sasha and this is the reference picture that i use yes you guys i was like okay i gotta do this one i think this one is super cute like i know this isn't even one of the original outfits that you know the brats manufacturers actually made but you know people have been having fun lately you know dressing up brats and making them into their own design which i think is super cute and super lit and yeah i just really really you know love this picture and her hair honey oh my gosh it's so full and curly and big oh my gosh i was thinking about actually getting my hair done to have like the little barrettes and the little curly hair i think that would be so cute like oh my gosh <laughs> so yeah i had a lot of fun drawing her um 
And, you know, also, you guys, that little Y2K flip phone that she got right there. I mean, that's not even Y2K, yo. That's literally, like, the 90s, you know, 90s right there. But, you know, I thought that was really cute. At first, I was going to give her an iPhone. But I was like, nah, man, it won't be, you know, that cute, you know, 90s vibe feel that it's trying to give us. So... Yeah, you guys, I had to keep that in. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am actually using a 2H pencil to do the sketches. And then I'm going back in with a 6B pencil. And that's just to darken everything up. And the 2H pencil keeps everything nice and light for me. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing her. And yeah, this is really lit. I really love Bratz, you guys. Like the everything from like their big old heads to their big old feet. <laughs> I just think it was so cute. And their lips and everything. Like Bratz was the ish. That was my favorite doll. Like, I think it was all of, like, our favorite dolls. Like, most of it. And, you know, they was really the, the legit divas of the doll world, in my opinion. I feel like they were the ones who brought that fashion, that passion for fashion. I mean, they were just, they were the it girl of the doll world, in my opinion. They was really killing the game. And, um, like, I just really think they're just really the most iconic of dolls, in my opinion. As you can see, they, you know, started the Bratz Challenge and everybody doing their makeup, like the Bratz and everything. I mean, that was so lit. I, like, I haven't even done that challenge. Like, I might do it, though. We'll see. But, yeah, I really enjoy Bratz dolls, you guys. Like, from the games and the movies. Even the real-life movie was lit, you guys. Did y'all see the real-life Bratz movie? Like, oh, my gosh. We got that Bratz oh my gosh yo I'm never gonna forget that like yo that was my movie right there I need to watch that it's been a minute <laughs> but yeah y'all like I love Bratz like the whole franchise is lit and I'm happy they're still keeping them alive even though they don't sell them anymore it's lit you know or do they sell them I don't know I think I think they definitely don't sell them in stores anymore but I'm sure you can get them like on eBay and all that kind of stuff <laughs> for probably uh, a, a good lick of money <laughs> but yeah so brats were awesome brats were lit and yeah this is my girl right here I changed her shirt a little bit I gave her kind of like a tank top since you know Noli already kind of had um just the regular t-shirt right there and I put the vibe on there gave her her little camo pants okay honey and she's just looking really cute and then I also had to give her you know the, the beauty supply um earrings because I just felt like it fit <laughs> so yeah that's our girl Sasha right there okay and next we're drawing Barbie oh my goodness you guys Barbie y'all so Barbie was my first, of course, I think all of our first dolls was a Barbie doll. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it was Polly Pocket, because you know, they have the old original Polly Pockets and stuff like that, and those, they, ooh, they went way back. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure, it was probably around the same time for the two, but I decided I would be drawing with this reference picture right here. I picked this one, because you know, I thought it was very Barbie-like. <laughs> the hair, the pink, and everything, but hunty, I had to change the design of her dress or whatever because I was like okay that is a little bit too old school for me okay we gotta we gotta give her a little bit of a makeover okay and then I still added that bear in because I love you know adding bears and animals and stuff and keeping it cute and stuff but yeah y'all um I really enjoyed um drawing all the dolls but yeah this one you guys is a funny little story that's about to come up and it actually has something to do with her nose which I think is funny because you know a lot of people have like you know done like makeup where Barbie has gotten plastic surgery and stuff so you know how we make mistakes when we're drawing and you know maybe we made a little smudge or we made a little mark on our drawings and everything so you see how I made that little mark by her nose like you might not catch it but it's there and that was bothering the heck out of me so I was like you know what I need to fix this so I decided I was gonna give her a band-aid you guys and you know Barbie was a little bit upset with me you know what I'm saying she was a little bit upset so you know I decided to give her a little bit of an attitude I changed her eyebrows because she was just a little bit upset with me about that and you know I messed up her nose so you know I'm sorry Barbie I hope you forgive me <laughs> so that's my little funny story there you know I gave her that band-aid you know I think it actually turned out looking pretty cute and I gave her a little bit of a smirk because she was just like, girl, why you do that to me? <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I really enjoyed this. I also added the polka dots in too. 
and I shaded in the rest of her dress but yeah you guys yo this was like legit so fun I think sometimes like you know just switching up what we're sketching and you know, sketching things that you know we really love like you know fan art and stuff like that it's a lot of fun and I also can't wait to bring the baddie series back too I don't know if this could be a part of the baddie series maybe I don't know but yeah I really enjoyed like this sketch with me draw with me kind of video I think it was fun and yeah you guys I'm also adding in these cute little speech bubbles because I thought it really just you know gave that little extra pizzazz to it and I decided to put in all of their logos so first we're gonna do the my scene logo and it's actually kind of fun doing bubble letters and stuff it's really not that bad and um yeah I decided to do that for each of the dolls and you know I thought it turned out really cute okay oh my gosh drawing the brass logo the brass logo is iconic like the font of the brats like is so iconic like we all love that brats font it's so cute and it's just so everything and it just really fits their design so well so I had a lot of fun doing the brats logo like so lit so cute and I love that little angel halo that they put over the R too it's just so cute like everything about brats is just lit okay and then the Barbie one, it was a little bit harder for me to do than the other ones because it's kind of like cursive, the Barbie logo, but it was still fun and it was still lit regardless. So I had a really fun time doing this, you guys. So yeah, I really hope that you all enjoyed watching my sketching and drawing process. After this, I go back in and darken up the, the logos and everything. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. And with my scene, I feel like they're like more of the city kind of like New York vibes kind of girls, you know, I just, I always feel those vibes with them. And brats, I feel like they're more of like the urban kind of dolls, you know, just real chill and cool and lit, diva-ish. And then Barbie is like the cute and girly. So yeah, those are the vibes that I was getting from all of them. So what do you guys think? Do you think that I embodied them in my style in a good way? Let me know if you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment, make sure you subscribe. Also, look, I added a little cityscape into the into the um, name of my scene because, you know, they give me them city vibes. <laughs> so I just had to add that in. But yeah, you guys, let me know what you guys think. This is my final result. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I think it came out pretty cute. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've sketched and drawn on paper traditionally because I've been so much into digital lately. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And I, I just had so much fun with this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make more videos and share more content with you guys. So love you guys so much. And I will see you all on my next video. Peace, love, and God bless you guys. Love you all so much. And don't forget to check out my socials, Raw Sushi on Instagram, and follow me there. And also check out my Patreon for more behind the scenes and monthly tutorials. Alrighty, love you guys. Bye.